Hello, friends. Uh, it's me, your pal, your buddy. Uh, that guy that's outside your house all the time. You know, scratchy handwriting. Uh, what does that all mean? Anyway, I uh, I was just watching some TV. I was watching uh, the Sundance Channel uh, because 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 IFC scares me so I have to watch the Sundance channel I, I don't know basically I have um I have all the HD channels set to favorites so I'm such a tool I only can watch things in HD so I'll watch pretty much anything that's on these HD channels like they could be the worst show ever but as long as it's in HD for some reason I feel some kind of solace that I can uh, use my television to its full fucking glory. Uh, anyway, uh, on Sundance Channel, they have this show called Iconoclasts. And if you've never seen this show, it's where they take one rich person from one field, like, uh, let's say, an actor or an actress, because they're so vastly interesting outside their films, and then they ha have, uh, like, somebody from, say, like, another field that's ultra-successful, like... Uh, an architect or, a, you know, an inventor. And this is the show. Basically, so two people get together that are both really, really successful so they can get together and talk about how awesome their lives are and how, like, great people they are. It's like, not only am I, like, famous and I make a ton of money by doing subpar work, well, in the actors and actresses' cases, uh, if you're an architect, then I guess you do have a little bit of room to gloat. But uh, not only do we make all this money, but we're, like, really cool outside of all that stuff, too. So all you people at home who have no money and you aren't interesting, like, what the hell are you doing? But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So the one I watched was about Cameron Diaz and this other fella named Cameron something. I He was... I don't know what he did, but see, the, both of them are named Cameron, so you get that, like, multi-tiered thing that they did there. So they're from different sides of the world, you know, different spe per, uh, personal spectrums, mind you. But they both have the name Cameron, and they're both kind of rich and kind of famous. So anyway, the thing that got my goat was that uh, <laughs> the other, the guy Cameron, whatever the hell he did, let's just say he was a goddamn, let's say he was a fisherman. I don't know what he was. Like, let's say he's the world's greatest fisherman. Like, he caught a shark with his bare hand or something. I don't know. Well, this Cameron dude was so taken by Cameron Diaz, he's like, she's incredible, she's amazing, she's the deepest person I've ever met. Really? You know, I've never met Cameron Diaz, but I'm willing to bet that she's not the deepest person you've ever met. And if she is, you've met a lot of very vapid people. Uh, but but at more moreover, uh, what he was talking about is like she's so incredible. Uh, right now she's actually taking a year off making movies, so she can uh, she can <laughs> she, she can focus her efforts solely on getting involved with the environmental uh, issues that plague the world. You know, I don't think the environmental issues are going anywhere with Cameron Diaz uh, getting involved. I don't think either way anything's really happening. But what kind of, how fucking great would it be if you had a job where you're like, you know, I'm taking a year off because uh, I want to really focus on environmental issues. You know, how much of this time is she really, you know, she goes probably out to like one like friggin' Rwandan kid's house, takes a picture, sends it to People Magazine, and then like, you know, vacations in Paris. But, you know, that's her her, uh, you know, tackling the hard environmental issues. But what, how great would that be if you'd be like, you know, I don't really feel like plumbing anymore. I'm going to just go focus on, like, the, you know, the the situa the war situation in Burma. I really want to take care of the, chil the children's soldiers over there, so I don't feel like going to McDonald's anymore. Like, what the fuck? You know, Cameron Diaz, what is she really doing? And she's taking a year off movies? Thanks, Cameron Diaz. I guess they're not going to make a sequel to that fucking movie with you and Ashton Kutcher getting married in Las Vegas, because I saw potential for sequel all over that. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. Cameron Diaz is stupid. Iconoclasts are stupid. The Sundance Channel is stupid. And finally, I'm stupid because I'm just yelling into this little camera. Have a nice day.